question is from Nicknack97. What exercises would you recommend for improving your vertical jump? You know, I just did a post on my story the other day. Uh, and I, you, just, you think because I think I've, I've talked about them so many times that everybody's heard and, and is over there following them. But if you're asking any questions related to uh, sports performance, especially vertical jump area, you have to be following uh, PJ Performance, Max yeah. Marzo, and Corey Schlesinger. And you, they just started that whole online yeah. educational uh, website. And they're they're the best, dude. They really are the best. In my opinion, they are some of the best uh, s- sports performance brains uh, in the industry and incredible, also very, very incredible men too. I, I like them as people. I think they have a, a great business and they have incredible free content. So if you're not following them, you should be doing that. And the reason why, I, you know, because it's not like one of us can't answer how to improve vertical jump. Sure, I have an answer and exercises that can help improve vertical jump. But man, they, these guys are on a whole other level that this is where I go to research and read more information. And one of the things that I think was paradigm shattering for me uh, following PJ over the last, I mean, I've been following him for a good four or five years now, uh, is how important, forget the exercises, how important yeah. the uh, technique Right. Of, of jumping is and what a difference that can make. I've seen this guy give somebody six to eight inches on their vertical within minutes by just mm-hmm. showing them the how, approach the approach to it and the mechanics of it to get them to add. I mean, t- I mean, I remember being a kid in the gym and training so hard and wearing those stupid shoes and doing all these things to try and increase my vertical by one inch or two inches where you know this guy could really look at the your mechanics of your your jumping technique and improve, you know, four or five times that. Mm-hmm. So uh, the value of, of following these guys and, 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 and listening to what they have to say about vertical jump and just sports performance in general, uh, definitely where I get a lot of my yeah, information. Yeah, and obviously you have to have strong legs. And so like some of those things of general overall strength, you know, will apply to every athlete. Uh, but then also having the mobility and the stretch reflex that you know will provide that kind of response and there's lots of subcategories of this so it's not like you know this exercise is going to get you like a two inch vertical you know like there's a lot more to it like adam's saying in terms of the technique my mind's been blown with what kind of content they're putting out so we always shuttle them that well way. i'm gonna i'm gonna give an analogy okay if you had you could have two groups of people um trying to improve their punching power and one group does shoulder and tricep and chest exercises and just gets stronger. And the other group practices punching, practices punching technique and gets coached by a boxer. At the end of 10 weeks, 100%, I will guarantee you that those that practiced punching are going to punch much harder. And if you don't believe me, have a bodybuilder punch you in the arm and then have a boxer punch you in the arm. The bodybuilder is way more muscled and stronger, yeah. but the boxer is going to hit you much harder because – Punching is a skill and a technique, just like jumping is. Nothing is going to improve your vertical jump like practicing jumping. So the number one thing you should do to get a better jump is practice your technique and the skill of jumping. And then the second thing is to practice how you explode out of a jump. That's what the Mm -hmm. exercise I would focus on is how do I generate force in the shortest period of time? This is where plyometrics can become extremely valuable is practicing being able to exert all that force in a short period of time to give me the most jump. And plyometrics have to be applied properly. The way you you utilize plyometrics is by exploding into a jump, resting for a while, because once fatigue sets in, you lose the value of of plyos. Once, once you're fully rested, practice again. That's the single best thing you can do. Now, aside from that, general strength in the lower body in the calves, and in the core uh, will contribute to all of that. But nothing is going to get you better than practicing, just practicing jumping. Well, I'm, I'm going to circle back to what Justin said because this impacted me personally more than anything else, and that was just getting stronger in like my squat. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, basketball. I played basketball as a kid uh, growing up. I, I stopped playing. I didn't. I stopped playing for a team and like really serious as I got into my 20s. I always did like rec ball and things like that. But I was not uh, playing as consistently as I was was as a young kid. Uh, started to get into you know bodybuilding, not like competitive bodybuilding, but building my physique and caring about how I looked. I started, and I've shared on this podcast before. One of the things that you know, put the most size on my body was starting to eliminate basketball. So I stopped playing basketball. 
uh, burning all those calories, started to pack on some size. I got the biggest I'd ever been by not playing ball for a few years and uh, m- developed my legs from squatting. And then I'll never forget coming back and playing basketball after like a, a two-year hiatus and being able to throw the ball down better than I'd ever had in my life. Up until that point, like it was like, you know, man, at the peak of my basketball training, I could barely get up and get a dunk. Uh, And then I got to a place where I could drop step, two hand, throw it down, uh, and I hadn't been playing any basketball. So there is something to be said about, you know, I wasn't practicing jumping. I wasn't even doing any real plyometric work like that. I just built some legs on me that I didn't have as a kid at all. And my fucking vert, I, I I don't know what the exact amount of inches, but I had to put on at least five to six inches more the way I was being able to throw the ball down. So uh, make sure that you're squatting. I mean, squatting will definitely mm. uh, carry over into your vertical jump for sure. You probably know, more yeah, so and it's else. a little controversial because uh, the, the the skill the, of you know cleaning is is definitely very high. And we talked about this with Sonny on the podcast recently, but the triple extension concept of, you know, really being more explosive, really like pouring more force output into the ground is really a huge part of that uh, development of being able to increase your vertical jump. And, you know, it doesn't mean you need to learn the skill of with a barbell of learning a a clean, but emulating that process, whether it's with a kettlebell or with a trap bar Mm. or something like that, where we could then mock um, you, you know that type of explosive triple extension is 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 a huge component. But you know, working on the strength and then you know building your way up to the peak of that, which is the powerful expression of it. Yeah, the the uh, full squats to build general strength, and then uh, partial squats to ju- to build specific strength for the, for the it, jump. That is where it applies here. No junk, you no know, joke. So if you're uh, junk in the trunk, yeah, I don't know why I said that. Yeah. If you're if you're pretty experienced with your lifting and you want to improve your 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 vertical and you want to add more strength, you can actually add partial squats. This is where partial or half squats actually have some value. I don't well, I don't ever recommend that except for this. Well, that's I mean, remember when that uh, video of LeBron James went viral of yeah. the way he was squatting and people ah there was all this debate back and forth. He's an advanced athlete. That's yeah. very specific. Well, and and not only that, and he's huge. It, you'll never <laughs> you'll never huge. see a basketball player take off for a dunk from the deep astagrass squat position Mm -hmm. or even anywhere close to that. You won't even see them take off from a a 90 position to do that. They they probably have a three-quarter bend uh, in their squat when they go up for a jump. So why, if you're an NBA player getting paid millions of dollars and you care more about that than longevity and what will build the most muscle on my quads, you're looking for the most carryover into your vertical jump. It does make sense here to train these quarter-type squats that people make fun of people on uh, on Instagram for doing because it has value here. Yep. Strong core for coiling. Then you got strong legs for that like explosive output. You got strong feet and you got stable ankles. Like all those things like you know very much concentrate on. You know there's an there's an African tribe that uh, the men jump and this is how they show their virility and fertility and attract women. Do you guys know that? No. Yeah, the all, all the men will jump together. And the height and the explosiveness of the jump is how they'll attract women. And so the women in the, in the tribe will... And they're also looking at their jump. I was just going to say, I wonder if it really has something no, to do with their vertical don't, or don't. What's, what's flopping around. That's a really <laughs> no, no, good no, no, way no, for that, them no, to tell. They have, I mean, they wear those little, on, man, they wear those little banana leaf underwear, no, bro. They I mean, don't. You can tell a lot what's going on. Not every, every African this tribe... This is a reproductive kind of dance. No, yeah, they don't yeah, all wear yeah, the yeah, same shit. You guys are so funny. She's like, oh, look, that's an eight-inch vertical. No, Doug can bring it up. That's definitely a 10-inch. No, they actually wear... It's a four-footer right No, dude, they actually wear almost like long skirts, so you ain't going to see nothing, bro. They're well, just looking they at their- jump up, it flies up. <laughs> <laughs> I need to explain that it to you. It doesn't. Yeah. 